Hello Year Ones. So it's time for today's outdoor maths lesson. Now this week Mr Orr has been talking to you all about fractions. You've been learning in particular what halves and quarters are. Now for today's lesson I want you to find as many ways as you can of making a half and a quarter outside. So let's have a think about some of the things that you're going to be doing. Well I've got outside some chalk which might come in handy if you've got some chalk at home that's fantastic don't worry if you haven't I've got some things that I've collected outside so I've got some pebbles I've got some pine cones and I've got some sticks so should we go and see what we're going to do so I've come out into the playground with my chalk to draw some shapes and find a half of some different types of shapes now remember a half is one of two equal parts so let's have a look at some of the things I've drawn, shall we? First of all, I decided to draw a square and I've drawn a line down the middle and shaded one side to show one half. Can you see that both sides are exactly the same size? They've got to be equal parts to be a half. Now there's more than one way that you can do that. I've drawn another square the same size, but I've, I've drawn a line diagonally this time. But again, the two sides are the same they're both a half of the square. Now I also then decided I was going to draw a triangle and by drawing a line down the middle and shading in one side again I've shown a different way of making a half. Now I thought I would write a half on the whiteboard and can you see underneath I've shown how we write a half as numbers. The one on the top means one part of the two underneath which is how many parts there are in total. So a half is one of two equal parts. I wonder how many other shapes you could think of that you could show a half. Now you could maybe draw a circle, you could draw, perhaps you could have a go at drawing a trickier shape like a hexagon or an octagon or a pentagon. How many of those could you find a half from? I can't wait to have a look. Now when you've done your halves, you might like to have a go at drawing some shapes and finding a quarter. Now, first of all, I had to go at drawing a circle. Can you see, I've divided it into four equal parts. Each one of those is a quarter, and I've shown one quarter by shading it in. Now, then I had to go at drawing a rectangle. Again, I've divided my rectangle into four equal parts, and I've shaded in one of those to show a quarter, which I've written on my whiteboard there. And again, underneath the word quarter, I've shown it as numbers. So one of four equal parts. Now this time I want to find half of a number instead of a shape. Now you'll see on the playground, I've drawn two circles and I've got a handful of pebbles that I collected. I've got eight in total and I want to find a half. So I'm going to share them equally between the two groups. So I've got two equal parts again. So I'm going to put one in that circle, one in that circle. I'm going to keep going until I've shared my pebbles out equally. Can you see I've got four pebbles in this circle and I've got four pebbles in this circle. So a half of eight is four. Perhaps you could have a go with pine cones, with sticks, with leaves, whatever you found outside. Um, you can choose the amount, um, start with a small number, you can work up to a number, maybe up to 20, or you can go higher if you want and show me some different ways of making half. So finally, I'm going to have a go at finding a quarter of a number. Now, I've got so many sticks that I've collected. I've got 12 sticks here and I want to find out what a quarter of 12 would be. Now, to find a quarter, I need to share these equally between four, because a quarter is one of four equal parts. So I'm going to share these out between my four circles that I've got. sticks have I got in each circle? I've got three sticks in this circle, 
got three in that one, three in that circle, and three in this circle, which makes 12 in total. So one quarter of 12 is three. So how many different ways do you think you can come up with to show me what a half or a quarter is? I hope you have lots of fun outside today and I can't wait to see all the different ways you come up with. Bye for now.